What is going on, YouTube, and welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome, and damn, we have a slugfest tonight between the Denver Broncos and the Cleveland Browns, two teams that are very beat up, two teams that are heading in the opposite direction from which they started the season. Both, you know, both teams started hot. Both teams started very strong. Broncos started 3-0, and and the Browns started 3-1. and Both teams are at 500 right now, so big questions, a lot of questions for these, for both of these teams, you know. Can did can Teddy Bridgewater put the full season together? And then the Cleveland Browns, there's a lot of questions right now between Baker Mayfield, you know, the offensive line being hurt, injuries. Injuries are the main story for the Browns so far this year. And then the Denver Broncos has been kind of the same thing, kind of, but you know, they've just have have gotten on a slid. You know, teams have started to figure that offense out. They figured that team out and Broncos have struggled. So let's get into the injury reports. Let's get into the Cleveland Browns. So, the Cleveland Browns have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 players questionable. And Odell Beckham Jr. is one of them. Jack Conklin is another. Baker Mayfield is... No, it's Malcolm Smith is questionable. J.C. Treader is questionable. Jedrick Wills is questionable. Malik Jackson, J.D. Van Clowney, and David Njoku. Or no, not David Njoku, Mac Wilson, my fault. But nonetheless, those are some huge injuries. You know, Mac Wilson is a decent linebacker. Malik Jackson is an is an extremely talented edge rusher. I don't think he gets enough credit. I think he's very good. Jay Vian Clowney has fallen under the under the radar. He's been decent his first few weeks. Then you know, half their offensive line is out in Jedrick Wills, JC Treader, Jack Conklin. And then on top of that, they don't have their two top backs for this week. You know, it's gonna be Dearness Johnson out there and then half the all line is might be out, you know. Wills, Treader, and Conklin are all questionable, so even if they do play, they're not going to be 100%. And then they have three outs. They have Nick Chubb, Baker Mayfield, and A.J. Green. Three. Wait. Why? Oh, A.J. Green's a corner. Why is. I don't know why I get. You know, I was thinking of A.J. Green, the wide receiver for the Bengals. Oh, <laughs> crazy, right? But nonetheless. Baker Mayfield is big out. I kind of thought Baker Mayfield was going to play. I thought he was going to find a way to tough it out, but he didn't. You know, th- you know they're doing the right thing by not him- by not letting their franchise guy play, let him rest up. Even though there are some questions swirling around Baker Mayfield, some big questions right now. And then Nick Chubb is out. One of the best backs in the league. That's definitely a drop off from Chubb and Hunt to De'Aaron Johnson and whoever else is in that backfield. And then let's go over to the Denver Broncos side of things. So you got Garrett Bowles a tackle who's questionable to me. Very good tackle. Be a big loss if you lose him versus Miles Garrett. And then you have Baron Browning, inside linebackers, out. Aaron Patrick is out. Teddy Bridgewater is questionable with a foot slash quad, but I do believe he will play. I think Teddy Bridgewater will play. Then you have Caden Stearns, safety, who's out with, who's questionable with, with an illness. Caden Stearns is a very, very underrated safety in my opinion. This is a very, very good safety tandem. Justin Simmons and Caden Stearns, amazing safety tandem. Amazing. So, let's get to the into the predictions here. So, I'm predicting this game to be a very sloppy game. Very sloppy. Now, I'm not going to pick the Browns to win this game. I think the injuries are ultimately going to catch up with them. I get Case Keenum is playing his whole team. But this Denver team, this Denver defense, is solid. It's okay. And it will do good against Casey Keenum and a lot of the missing weapons and especially if one or two of those offensive linemen are out so I'm not saying the Cleveland Browns are a bad team they're just so beat up right now I don't see this team going out and beating the Broncos I I, I think the Broncos are going to run very well on the Browns I think the Broncos are going to pound the ball and I think the, and my bold prediction is the Broncos are going to run over run for over 150 yards in this game and win this game by Two to five points. Two, two, you know, something around there. I don't think it's going to be blah. It's Like I said, it's going to be a slugfest. I think it's going to be a very sloppy game. But I'm going to take the Broncos, you know. I'm going to take them in maybe a 23 to, 23 to 19. 23 to 19, I, I think that's a good score. I think that's a good score prediction. I think the Broncos pulled out by four points. So it's going to be a fun game tonight. I mean... 
I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. I love football. I don't care if it's a slugfest between two teams and, and it's going to be a sloppy game. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love to watch some football. Can never, never. Always got to love football. Always got to go for it, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited for tonight's game. Let me know your guys' opinions on tonight's game. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think the Browns overcome their injuries? Do you think the Broncos beat the, the Browns? Let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like, put the post notification bell on, put, subscribe, and share it to all your favorite so- social media platforms. I thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome, where we're not only talking sports, changing lives. And I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever time it is, and I will talk to you guys next time.